This channel does not promote or promotion any illegal activities. All content provided by this channel is meant only for educational purpose only. Good day, dear students! I'm Mark Anthony R. Gomez, your subject teacher in entrepreneurship. I hope we will learn a lot of things in our lesson for today. See ya! Are you ready? I hope you are ready to learn as I am to start our learning and have fun. Some reminders before we start to our lesson for today. Find a comfortable place to listen and work. Always have a lecture note with you. Listen attentively and hold your modules about the lesson so that you know what to do during and after the discussion. After our lesson for today, if you have any concerns and questions regarding to our topic, don't hesitate to ask questions. Our lesson for today is all about analyze the market need. I want you to listen carefully about analyze the market need. At the end of the lesson, you are able to analyze the market need and explain the barriers of entry. Before we start to our lesson for today, I want you to think about this. Question number one, the entrepreneur who leaves the labor of others is called, I repeat, the entrepreneur who leaves on the labor of others is called, did you answer drone? Very good, you are correct. Number two, these are entrepreneurs who are to follow the path shown by innovative entrepreneur. I'll repeat, these are entrepreneurs who are to follow the path shown by innovative entrepreneur. Did you answer imitating? You are correct! Good job! Question number three. Entrepreneur means, I'll repeat, entrepreneur means, Did you answer to improve standard of living? Very good! You are correct! What is a market analysis? A market analysis aims to anticipate or predict the direction of price or growth in a market. A market analysis of a stock bond or commodity market tries to forecast which way price will go. Most analysis focus on what is to come and they are forward looking. However, some try to understand or explain why something has happened, they examine the history. People carrying out market analysis use technical data about the movement of, for example, the stock market or commodity prices. Sometimes, Market analysis requires studying fundamental data such as supply and demand or corporate earnings prospects. Often, market analysis involves studying and defining a company markets and trying to determine its direction. The study may also look at how a company can exploit the market to gain a greater share. We can use this type of analysis to analyze your current market or to look at new ones. No matter the size of age of a business, market analysis help identify the attractiveness of markets. They also help business people detect risks that may exist or possibly will exist in the future. What is a marketplace? We refer to an open space or square in a town where people buy and sell things like street market. 
hundreds of years ago, before there were high streets, streets with lots of shops, a marketplace was an important place for shoppers and vendors. Farmers would regularly take their produce there. Today, especially in the advanced economies, farmers sell to cooperative with in wholesalers. Marketplace also means the market in the abstract sense. For example, for a product to compete effectively in the marketplace, it needs to sell at the right price. When using the term marketplace in the abstract sense, we are talking about the business environment. If I say in today, firstly, competitive marketplace business need to embrace technology. The term refers to the business and environment. Under the market need, we have need and market. The first one is the need. What is need? A motivating force that compels action for its satisfactions, needs range from basic survival needs, common to all humans being satisfied, by necessities, to cultural, intellectual, and social needs varying from place to place and age group to age group. The next one is what is a market? A market is an any place where makers, distributors, or retailers sell and consumers buy. In this context, the word market means marketplace. People buy and sell things in shops, in high streets, exchanges, street markets, or websites. The term may also refer to the whole group of buyers for a good service. For example, the market for a sports car is quite this year. Businesses that operate in markets are usually in competition with other companies. The other companies or rivals offer similar goods or services. The next one is the demographic segmentation. Demographic segmentation, it is refers to the categorization of the target market based on specific variables like age, gender, income, education, and religion. It is a type of market segmentation that helps businesses to understand their consumers better and meet their needs effectively. These are the variables of demographic segmentation. The first one is the age. Age is this is an important factor for market demographic segmentation because consumers' needs and preferences differ in line with their age. That is what appeals to individuals in a particular age group may not appeal to members of a different age group. Another example is segmenting market according to the age group of the audience is a great strategy for personalized marketing. Most of the products in the market are not universal to be used by all the age groups. Next one is the gender. The gender variables is another important demographic factor for market segmentation because individuals identify with different points in the gender spectrum, like masculine or feminine, in this primary affects their choices. Knowing the gender, your product appeals to help you to meet the needs of your consumers effectively. And the next one is income. Individuals with higher income levels may have an interest in purchasing ostentatious or highly priced items, while individuals with lower income levels may desire cheaper items. Income, it affects a consumer by buying power and style of living. The next one is the target market. This is the type of customers that are focused within the market. It is focused on the more qualitative side of the market analysis by looking at what drives the demand. I have an example of target market. Let's watch the video. When I ask someone who their targeted customer is, I almost always get the same answer. Well, our customer could be anybody. 
we sell insurance. So anybody that needs insurance, we're a financial planner. So anybody who eventually thinks they need to retire, I want you to think about it in this way. Have you ever been to McDonald's? If you think about McDonald's, a $25 billion company, they have a targeted customer base. Who do you think it is? It's kids. That's why they have the Happy Meal Play Place and that creepy clown. You'll float too. You don't see their advertising during the 24-hour news cycle or in the Wall Street Journal. You'll see it most of the time on kids' shows. So when you're trying to figure out who your targeted customer is and you try to cast the widest net possible, you'll usually catch the fewest fish. Look at who your best potential customer is. Look at your top 10 clients. Are they more male or female? Are they more white collar or blue collar? Where are they located? What do they do for a living? What is their decision criteria based on? Start to really focus in on who that customer is. Serve them well because it's better to have a narrow niche with a lot of clients than have a wide niche and no clients. The next one is the market need. Investors must determine the needs of the market through analysis based from research conducted focusing on their needs. Identify what the customers want to classify their needs. Marketplace needs is a marketing concept that relates to the functional or emotional needs or desires of target market. And the next is the competition. Determine the competitor's positioning and describe their strength and weaknesses. For examples of competition is before we are going to put up a business, we need to make SWOT analysis so that we know what we are going to do. And the next one is the barriers of entry. Barriers of entry, these are the hindrances or something material that block or intend to block passage. It is the natural information or structure that prevents or hinders movement or actions or even separates the new businesses. These are the challenges and obstacles you are going to face in business. The first one is the investment. These are the projects that requires a huge investment. The second one, technology. Application of the combination of scientific and engineering knowledge. When you say brand, it is the huge marketing cost required to get a certain level of appreciation. And the next one is the regulation. Before you are going to put up a business, you are required to get licenses and permits. And the fifth one is the access to resources. It is a difficult to have exclusivity with suppliers, accessibility of suppliers. And the next one is the access to distribution channels. Exclusivity with distribution uh, distributors, availability, or intermediaries. And the last one is the location. It's also difficult to get a better place or venue where the business is located. So these are the examples of barriers of entry. And this is the end of our lesson for today. Let's check if you really understand our lesson by answering the following questions. In this activity, you need to identify the following questions. I'll give you five seconds to answer per question. Question number one. A market segmentation according to age, religion, gender, family size, income, and education. I'll repeat. A market segmentation according to age, religion, gender, family size, income, and education. Question number two. A marketing concept that relates to the functional or emotional needs or desires of a target market. I'll repeat, a marketing concept that relates to the functional or emotional needs or desires of a target market. And the last question, the activity of gathering information about condition 
that affect a marketplace. I'll repeat, the activity of gathering information about conditions that affect a marketplace. Okay, so let's check your answer. So did you answer demographic segmentation for number one? Then you are correct. Number two, did you answer marketplace needs for number two? Again, you are correct. Good job. How about for number three? Did you answer market analysis? Market analysis, you're great. Good job. It seems you really understand our lesson for today. Great job, class. Hello, dear students. I hope you have learned something in our lesson for today. Again, if you have any concerns or questions regarding to our lesson for today, don't hesitate to ask questions or kindly PM me through Messenger or in our GC. Again, by the way, my name is Mark Anthony R. Gomez, your subject teacher in entrepreneurship. Thank you for your listening and happy learning. Paalam!